Tesla's success in the EV industry hinges upon various ensembles that all come together piece by piece to form a multinational super successful EV manufacturing empire. As it is, Tesla has no plans of slowing down and the next trick up its sleeve is the Gigapress. What's the Gigapress and how does it affect the future of Tesla's success? Well, you're about to find out. The Gigapress is the foundation of Tesla's future successes and the company is doing well in acquiring the big crushing machine for vehicle production. In the previous year, there was news that Tesla was working on a giant machine which could make full-size cars the same way toy cars are made. Tesla CEO Elon Musk even confirmed that the giant casting machines will literally make full cars in the same way toy cars are made. The Gigapress are a number of aluminium die casting machines created by by a group in Italy and are known to be the largest high pressure die casting machines in the world. They have a clamping force of about 55,000 to 61,000 kilonewtons and each machine weighs about 430 tons. Tesla is one of the leading companies to make use of these machines and they have loudly proclaimed the ease that comes with the machines. Tesla has recently announced a number of upcoming projects and if we're going with that information we can agree that the company is poised to produce more cars for the public. Although the time frame of his proposals is quite small, there is still no doubt that Tesla could attract more customers sooner than expected. Tesla already purchased the two biggest casting machines on earth to assist casting the Tesla Model Y rear chassis, as well as crash rails, as a single component. Furthermore, the company announced that the rear chassis of the Tesla Cybertruck will be produced using an 8,000 ton force casting machine. The 8,000 ton press was first said to be for a leading manufacturer of new energy vehicles and that the machines were large enough to make single piece components for big vehicles like the Tesla Cybertruck. The giant machine will make chassis components of larger vehicles including pickup trucks, SUVs and full electric lightweight vehicles. As of February, Tesla owns three casting machines at Giga Shanghai for the production of the Model Y and it has two machines installed at the Tesla factory in California. Also there is one machine installed at Giga Berlin and Giga Austin each. At Giga Berlin, the Tesla Model Y vehicles will have a redesigned structure and the European Model Y vehicles will use a front chassis mega casting and a rear chassis mega casting. The presses will be used during the Model Y chassis production and flexibly cast large numbers of parts quickly. When delivered, they will speed up Tesla's reach in Europe with specific designs. Despite the amount of machines the company has, it is willing to expand its reach and get more machines for easy mass production. Tesla has always focused on casting technology to produce larger parts of their vehicles in bigger pieces. For example, the company now produces the Model Y with one giant rear underbody which used to consist of 70 parts. Tesla is planning to deploy more of these machines at their new factories. The Giga machines have simplified Tesla's body production line and has removed the need for close to 300 robots. The machines also help to improve quality and make sure the body is more consistent without the difficulties involved in lining up several parts. As the Gigapress can produce single piece casts for the company vehicles, Tesla could effectively achieve a leading status in the automotive industry. The Giga factory in Texas is still in construction, but this has not stopped Tesla from completely installing the site's first Giga presses. In no time, we could see these machines producing single piece casts. The Tesla Giga factory Texas could even be Tesla's Cybertruck factory. However, the Giga factory Texas might begin with producing Model Y casts and the Model Y vehicles from this factory will have the custom 4680 battery cells which is the same expected to be used for the Cybertruck. One huge development the Gigapress has revealed is the ability of Tesla to produce its 4680 battery cells. The Gigapress at Texas could indicate that the company has gone a long way in achieving its mass battery production and is ready to ramp up supply of the vehicles and subsequent ones. Another big thing is that the company that produces Tesla's Gigapress is building 9,000 ton presses which are capable of producing larger parts than the Model Y single piece rear underbody. The 9,000 ton machines are much bigger than the Tesla regular pressing machines and the company has not indicated who wants the big presses. One sure thing is that Tesla seems to be the forerunner at this type of machines and could be ready to begin production of the Cybertruck or even the Semi. Still not clear, the massive machine might actually be used to produce
produce the $25,000 affordable car in China. The $25,000 car, dubbed Model 2, might be the right candidate for a number of fresh innovations to Tesla, like an underbody that is built from a single casted piece. Since Tesla is really aiming at making vehicles with single piece castings, similar to how toy makers make toys, they are willing to get more machines to make the work easy. We must consider that it's difficult to roll out changes while a vehicle's production is ongoing, therefore the single casted pieces Tesla aims at might begin with the yet produced vehicles. To make cars like Matchbox cars, Tesla is working to use single large castings and fewer parts for the building of their vehicles. These Giga presses will simplify vehicle production and even create space where necessary for other fittings. The Model Y electric crossover will have a single piece casted rear underbody. We can all agree that there will be no vehicle production in Tesla without these gargantuan pressing machines. The press can work under tremendous pressure and can fill up mold with aluminium within milliseconds. Don't you agree that the Giga press is indeed going to push Tesla's manufacturing capacity into a steady high? Let us have your opinions in the comments section. Also, don't forget to join the channel as a subscriber in case you haven't done that yet.